Hi, in this video we will be learning about the Reconcile Transformation object in a Steras Enterprise. The Reconcile Transformation object allows the user to identify and reconcile new, updated or deleted information entries within an existing data source. It can be used in various applications where a user is required to identify changes in multiple data records and capture them efficiently. As you can see here on the Dataflow Designer, we have two Excel workbook sources available. For our use case, we are going to reconcile data from two customer complaint sources so we can identify which records have been added, updated or deleted. As we have already configured our source data, we will now drag and drop the reconcile transformation object from the toolbox onto the data flow. As you can see in the object, it has two input nodes and an output node. This is because the object takes two inputs and compares them to produce an output for the user to understand. We can directly map every one of our fields from the source objects to each of the input nodes of the transformation object. However, if you wish to identify changes in any specific fields, you can map just those fields to the transformation object. To configure the properties of the Reconcile Transformation object, right click on it and select Properties from the context menu. This will open the Properties screen. Firstly, it will ask us if the incoming records are to be identified on case sensitive basis or not. If we check this box, it is going to treat uppercase and lowercase records as two separate entities. Next, we will see if the incoming input records need to be sorted or not. If our data is already sorted, we will leave these checkboxes as is. However, to reduce the processing time of unsorted data, we can select either of these checkboxes depending on which source is unsorted. Next, we will select the type of output the reconcile object is going to produce upon previewing. It has three options. Side by side element with change flag. Select this option if you want to get values from both sources presented side by side with the separate column presenting the reconciled output by putting a flag. It shows true in case of an update and false in case of unchanged data. Original layout. Select this option if you want to get the reconciled output for each record and corresponding information in the reconciled field. Original layout with changed element collection. This option applies when working with hierarchical data to reconcile the information contained in the child nodes. We will select the second output type. Once done, you can see two more boxes underneath. The record filter box allows the user to define which changes are to be detected in the output. The options to select from them are All, Updated, Unchanged, Deleted, Inserted. We will keep all these options selected for our use case. Next is the inner node filter box. This option is used when we have hierarchical data and we wish to see changes within the inner node as well. However, since our source files contain flat data, we can leave this as it is. Once done, click next and you will be led to the layout builder screen. Here, you can see the layout of the fields that have been mapped to the object and are going to be presented within the output. First, you will have to specify a key. It is a common identifier in both the source files that will match and reconcile records. In this case, we want to reconcile the progress on complaints made against each complaint ID. Therefore, we will select complaint ID as our key. Next, we can select the survivor value of each data field. Survivor values are the values from your source datasets that you want to retain in the output. You will only need to specify the survivor value if you want to get the original layout or original layout with changed element collection as output. The survivor value option does not apply if you want to get side by side element with change flag as your output since both of the source values are retained when this option is selected. You may select from the following survivor value options such as second, first, higher, lower, expression and a few more. Click next and you will be led to the general options screen. Here you can add any comments that you wish to add. Click OK to close the configuration window. We can now preview the output to see the changes in our data.
As we can see in the preview window, the object has returned all the change records based on our filter. The output can then be further mapped onto other objects in the data flow. Had we selected the first output type, the preview would have looked like this. Had we selected the third output type, our preview would have looked like this. This concludes the configuration and usage of the Reconcile Transformation object in Asteras Enterprise. For more information on Asteras Enterprise, please visit our documentation site. Thank you for watching this video.